Hi everybody, I'm Jim. And I'm Rich. And we're playing Resident Rise. And today it's we have some simple okay. goals. I like simple. Well, I mean you're working on your tower. My and tower of monolithic proportions. Around the workshop. My tower still looks better than your castle, man. Well, I, didn't I think make it's my the castle. brick though. Oh right, that's a dead end. Don't drop down there. Uh, but before I get to anything, I think I need to make a mana tablet. What's a mana tablet? It's for storing mana from Bot Botania. Neat. Yep. I am gonna do just do some housekeeping here. Actually, I might make two of them. And then I'll be ready to... Remodel it. I'm also going to send Franklin into the castle, and we're going to start expanding the workshop into the castle. We have a fuck ton of bows. Boats? Bows. Oh, bows. Oh, yeah, we would, man. That mob farm is murdering skeletons. I'll come up with uses for those. Yeah. Uh, what was I looking for here? Um... That's what it is. I couldn't remember what an ender pearl was called. Oh boy, this is going to be one of those games. <laughs> I think my brain has just hit full stop. Oh dear. Yeah. So what I'm going to do with these mana tablets is I can throw them into the mana pool mm -hmm. and pull mana out of the mana pool to um, store in the tablet for later use. Assuming I can figure out how to jump up there. There we go. And it helps if I quit standing on the item and pulling it back into my inventory right away. That seems complex. I'm just trying not to completely drain this mana pool. While I do this. Because ah. if I completely drain it, it fucks up the mana farm. <laughs> I think I feel that seems unfortunate. Now. Yeah, that would be unfortunate. So it takes over half a mana pool to fill one of these tablets, it looks like. Oh. What is that in actual measurement? Like milliliters or something? A fuck ton? We're from Canada. We have no excuse for not knowing the metric system. Okay, a metric fuck ton. <laughs> no, it doesn't actually give actual numbers. Skeleton... You are in the wrong place, my friend. Where's the skeleton? I assume in your tower. No, actually, he was using the shadow from your castle to try and survive. Oh, nice. Yeah, it didn't work out so well for him. Uh... Yeah? Franklin put a hole in your wall. Yeah, I put I put that hole in my wall. You had to use Franklin to put a hole in your wall? No, I'm going to use Franklin to uh, build a platform. Oh, I um, I have a confession to make, Jim. What's that? I did something stupid the other day. What's that? Well, I did a couple stupid things. One of which is I bought World of Warcraft Legion. Oh, nice. I've heard really good things. It's not bad. But I feel kind of guilty for having done it. Because I've been ragging on... What, did you, did you, like, have to kill a man to do it? No, I've been ragging on World of Warcraft because of Warlords of Drainer was utter crap. Sure. Uh, as pretty much everybody will say, it feels like in Warlords of Draenor that Blizzard gave up um, to start working on uh, Legion as soon as they released uh, Warlords. So, it felt really unfinished, like they just didn't bother with everything. Oh. Having not played... I, 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 I quit WoW a couple years ago, so... 
I will admit that I'm not really up on it. Yeah. But Why? I feel hypocritical going back to it after all the bragging I did on it. Some DLC is good, some DLC is bad. As somebody who works in software, um, releasing software is hard. Anyone who tells you it's not doesn't know what they're talking about. There we go, I made it up. Oh right, the roof is the problem I was having. I forgot about that. What's up with the roof? Is it on fire? No, my ceiling was kind of preventing me from properly moving and jumping. Ceiling is preventing you from jumping? I keep hitting my head. Oh, why are you jumping? All the way, man, all the oh way. God. Did I just have to like, wind up? I, on the other hand, I'm hard at work. Dirt in my phone. Oh, no Now if I set this up, that should be draining from the mana tablet into the mana pool. There we go. Hmm. So. So you're basically creating another mana farm underneath your... Oh yeah. I figured I might as well make it more accessible. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's why my potatoes aren't growing properly. I'm going to expand the workshop out with the um, castle, but I'm also going to clean up the inside of this workshop. Yeah, because making sure things are clean and organized is not exactly our strong suit. That's true. Now let's throw these potatoes back into the hopper. And now, my mana farm should be back up. Oh, why oh. did it do that? My mana pool reversed itself, and after draining my mana tablet, it then fed itself back into the mana tablet. Oh, uh, I don't even know what that sentence means. Doesn't well, I, was sound trying, great, though. I was trying to fill the mana pool. Sure. And then the mana pool drained back into the tablet. So I, I said that to, sentence twice, and I still don't know what it means. It'd be the same as taking a pitcher of water, pouring it into a bucket, and then pouring it, the bucket back into the pitcher. Oh, that doesn't seem super useful. No, it, it's really not. Okay, there's one drain mana tablet. Go on, Franklin. Platform like a boss. And once you're done, we're gonna put in the. Uh... Does he know how to platform? Oh yeah. Like, does he jump like Super Mario? No, no, no. Platform like shoes. <laughs> Those things. Platforms? Yes. Platforms are rad. What did they ever do to you? I hate the look of them. They look like. Bulky and clunky. So? So, I reserve the right to hate them. That doesn't seem like a right you have. Why not? Oh, speaking of things that are disorganized. I may have just knocked out my. Okay. Igneous extruder. Why do I feel vibrant capacitor banks? be a terrible pain to try and make. Uh, Vibrant? Yes. 
Mm. Octatic Not actually passengers? that. No, that's not that bad. I've got some vibrant alloy. Uh, and some... I, I had to use some of that stuff to upgrade my armor, so... I've got some. Let me check my supplies. Well, the octa octadic capacitors look like a pain in the ass to make. Meh, not really. Yeah, I've got some vibrant alloy. I've even got a vibrant crystal. How many do you need? Like, that's the real question. Well, you know, vibrant capacitor banks running a mage tower. I figure... Blood here. One, two... Uh, one or two to start. Yeah, we have enough stuff for time. Okay, time to start looking. You'll need to make some more electrical steel. Yeah, I figured I'd have to come over to the workshop and do, you know, non-magic stuff. Well, let me run you off some electrical steel. All it takes is silicon and, uh... Well, I'm gonna need to make all the other stuff, so I'll probably need some of the machines at the workshop. Yeah. Oh! Actually, the easiest way to make electrical steel is molten steel and uh, silicon. Like. You do realize this hole Franklin put in here is going to let monsters into the workshop? Yeah, I'm fine with that. What's up, Sphinx Bro? It's not going to be there for very long, so. I'm not. I'm just wondering, instead of going to Vibrance, if I should just use regular capacitor banks, I shouldn't need that much power. Yeah, Vibrance are probably overkill. Uh, basic or regular capacitor banks. I should not be using the amount of power of Vibrant we need, so just some iron ingots, redstone block, and some basic capacitors, it looks like. Yep. And basic capacitors look like copper. I'm going to assume redstone and gold ingots I heard that. or nuggets. Uh, I couldn't tell you. I, I'm busily screwing around in the workshop. How are you doing, Franklin? Almost done. I'm gonna make a bunch of basic capacitors. I don't remember if I told him to come back to the start or not. Nope. Wow, he just like cleared out the chest on the fr on the on the bottom floor um, of the tower. Chest. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Spoilers: This workshop's going to become pretty inaccessible to people who aren't who can't fly. By the way, I'm sure I'll manage. Just letting you know. Five should be a good start. Got to figure out how to get out of this labyrinth. What labyrinth? Oh. Oh, were you using the terminals in the uh, basement? I did originally, yeah, because okay. your workshop upstairs with all its construction was starting to scare me. Huh. Ha. Huh. I'll go back to the safety of my wizard's tower. Please. Listen, at least it's uh, accessible to people who can't fly. 
Can my workshop still accessible to people who can't fly? For now. Now I have a basic capacitor bank set up. Lots of mana still. Go up a couple floors. Uh, wonders of wonders, I have a crafting terminal in my wizard's tower now. Yep, yeah, I ran the cable over there, I want to say a couple episodes ago. I can't remember if I showed this off last time, but I've got a... Great wood scepter as well for crafting things. Yeah, you mentioned that. Uh, it's been a while since we filmed last. Uh, yeah, but yeah, you mentioned that. It holds more uh, V and gives a better average V cost for crafting. Yeah. So, completely awesome. I do need to get around to making arcane lanterns here. I came up for. Oh, yeah, I wanted my hippie dynamo. Where's my hippie dynamo? I don't have a good answer for you. Damn, I must have thrown it in a chest somewhere. And not the storage system. Right. And then I'm going to need to get around to making cable. Ah, uh, killing mobs to charge my wand. Yay. Okay, so what part of the workshop's about to become inaccessible to people who can't fly? Upstairs. Um, actually, That's it's fine. not even inaccessible because there will be stairs in the side towers. I just want to be able to keep walking through. Yeah, yeah. No, the bottom floor will be fine. I'm just clearing out some space on the bottom floor. It's getting a little claustrophobic. Okay. It's fast for my hippie done. I would look over here somewhere. Oh. Found it. So I've got two reasons for wanting to set up my own power supply. One is um, I have technomancy uh, machines I want to set up in my tower. And two, I'm thinking of eventually converting my essence production to uh, storage in uh, cells hmm. rather than jars. And that system would take a bunch of power, and this way I can power it myself. Or at least add power to it. How high do I need this thing to be? 420 high. What? Are we blazing? What? I blazed last episode, man. Whoop! Blaze every day? Uh, no, it's smoke weed every day. Are you or are you not hip with the kids? I'm not hip with the kids. I can tell. I hate kids. No, you don't. Do you want to bet? I hate kids, Jesus. Jesus doesn't even hate, hate kids. I hate Jesus, kids. Oh, Jesus. That's, uh... Yeah. Alright. So, yeah, let's go. Um, what are the Ender I.O. power cables called? Uh, conduit. It's basic energy conduits. I'll have to go check. We need a bunch of those. <laughs> Convenient. Thank you, Ophelia. This is very helpful. Ophelia. That's, that's Cecilia. Shush, I'm coming up with my own. <laughs> I mean, it fits in there. Oh, it, hmm. 35 energy conduits. Going. Yeah, there's a bunch in there already. I'm trying to see if I can set this up so that my hippie dynamo will power straight into the uh, capacitor bank. Rather than having to use conduit to power into it. Alright, so we'll do that.
clear up most of the stairs in my workshop. Is there a redstone signal? I don't know. You setting up your dynamo? Yeah. It might need a redstone signal. I can't remember. Redstone signal disables it. Okay. Have confirmed cannot run power straight from the dynamo into. The whatchamacallit. The whatchamacallit? Yes. I don't know what that is. What, what does one call it? The capacitor bank. However, really? I can, yeah. Why would it not accept power from the dynamo? I don't know, it's got to go through the conduits. It could just be a hippie dynamo. Oh, thing. oh, you're like trying to run it like directly the dynamo it's against the... Capacitor bank, no, yeah. No, no, that's not going to work. So currently my dynamo puts out ADRF tick. My basic capacitor bank will hold 5 million because I have 5 of them. Yeah. Now I need to three x negative ten eighty six z thirteen eleven. Look at that. You might not even put a roof on this. I just. Enjoy it as it is. I don't want the walls. Oh, what did I just break? I Something just sounded like broke. I don't have any idea. Oh, fuck berries. Uh, excuse me? I said fuck berries. I heard you. Well, it turns out what I was planning was right over top of... I have a uh, ME cable running over there that I now have to replace. Because hmm. you didn't... Through the cable? I broke the cable. Ah. I forgot I put um, facades <laughs> over it. Yeah, that would impact your... Uh... Oh, good, we still have dense uh, Oh, wait. It, oh, it left me with the dense cable. Good. And the facades. Okay, I thought it completely destroyed them. Oh, no, that pick has silk touch. Right. Awesomeness. Sure. No, that's the reason it didn't break it. No, I went what I it took down what I thought was a regular, like, grimstone brick. Uh, Turn and but then it made a glass breaking noise. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. Hence, fuck berries. Fair. So the workshop is still accessible um, to those not uh, able to build their own means of flight, um, though it is less accessible than it was. Eh, whatever. It'll get figured out. Yes. Yes, it will. Yeah, this will need some work, but we're in a good situation. That's always good. We do need to light it, though. Push 
Seconds. Seven to show the lighting grid. Yeah, I got in trouble for the lighting grid. Oh. Let's turn it off when we're not using it. You've got power now in your tower? Semi sort of. Oh, sad face for the fact that I believe I already used Tower of Power uh, in an episode title. Just means you need to become more original, man. Yes, that is true. That is always going to be true. But I'll have to wait and do that next episode. Was it that time already? Yeah, that's okay. why I said that. Bye, everybody. See you guys later.